I'm Zach. And I'm Keith. And we suck. At giving gifts. But Keith sucks more. And Zach's pretty terrible at yeah, it. I'd say Keith is sort like, of the worst. I mean, he's kind of known for being I mean, he's bad really at it. Not good he's at not thoughtful. But I'm gonna give you so hard you shit yourself. Oh yeah, well I'm gonna get you a gift you love so much, you little turd muffin. I'm gonna make you feel touched, you little f face. Well you better touch me, cause I'm gonna touch you right oh, back. Touch you so oh yeah, 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 Who is the best boy in all the land? I'm not good at giving gifts. I'm not good at getting gifts. I just don't get it. Becky and I have stopped giving each other gifts ever. I haven't gotten Becky a birthday present or a Christmas present since we got married. Probably the one I feel the most bad about is that I don't give my niece and nephew birthday gifts. <laughs> Today I'm going to reach deep inside of myself and change one of my major flaws. I'm going to crush Keith at giving gifts. Hey, are you busy? Oh. <laughs> no. For my first gift, I know that Keith is a huge Pokemon fan. Keith made a video. It underperformed, but it was great. Keith, you did, you tried. You tried, buddy. It's fine. You know, some videos underperform. It's not your fault. Keith made an underperforming video about Pokemon cards on... <laughs> this is so mean. <laughs> I know that for a long time, you were seeking the rare Pokemon card. A Charizard. That's right. One of the rarest in the world. I actually found one that's even more rare. Oh boy. <laughs> what is this? What a nightmare. The rarest card of all, the thick Charizard. The Pokemon with a dump truck ass. First of all, I picked it up and I felt it like, it's not a Pokemon. <laughs> Yeah, and I also got the thick Pikachu. Oh, very nice. The thick Pikachu, why'd you put that one in a protect case and mine's loose? Cell game. <laughs> He's left it loose, it's not even sleeved, it's not even in a penny sleeve. Well, that would cost too much. Here, you can- pe They're called penny sleeves. Oh, Clap Pikachu. is a very funny attack. That's not his attack. Zach, I would say this is a perfect, like, if you saw this in a store, you would get it because you thought of me. I know that you love Pokemon and you love dump truck asses, so. You got, you meat bagged. Found it on Etsy. Support your local craftspeople that are not local. They're all over the world. Oh, Zach. Oh, fuck. Your dream has come true. Oh, God damn it. I'm in the middle of my pre thoughts. I know. Team. I thought it'd be the perfect time to give you a gift. I'm, li I'm literally, this is not even going to make sense in the context of the video. It will. It won't. We'll cut back to me saying I was going to do it. Gift number one. And this is a little bit of a gift for myself. Zach borrows my stuff a lot. He borrows my projector, my projector screen, my speakers. So I thought, I'm gonna start out by giving Zach something he likes to borrow a lot, a fog machine. This is something you have borrowed from me so many times, now you don't have to ask me anymore. Wait, is that mine? Yeah, this is, this is your gift. You didn't wrap it? No, because the presentation. You're just getting me stuff that you don't want me to borrow from you anymore. Well, what does it lock do? Lock stops it. So if you start it, and then she write it in my dick. <laughs> 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 I don't mean, care how much we use it anymore. <laughs> okay, uh, well, well, I'll let you continue your thoughts, but know that you're already super f***ing behind me in this competition. So congratulations on the gift. Sorry it sucks to suck. I'll see you later. Keith, you did a decent job. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> you don't have to lie. What the f***? What the hell? And you might think, this is unreasonable. You can't spend this much money on your friend in gifts. You can if you've never given them any gift. I've known Zach nine years. That's nine birthdays that I haven't gotten him anything. That's nine Christmases that I've never gotten him anything. Hanukkah is nine times eight. That's 72 missed gift opportunities just in Hanukkah. What the hell is this? Gift number two. 
In tandem with the fog machine and his love of lasers, I want Zach to become the laser. <laughs> what is this? That's right, no longer will he just be looking at lasers around the room. I wanna give him laser glasses so that lasers shoot out of his face. Are these laser glasses? Do they do anything? What the f is it? Do they do anything? This way, Zach is the party laser. <laughs> This is stupid. This is the stupidest thing. Does it not even do like other shapes? He always wants to be the center of the attention at the party. He wants to make sure everyone has a good time. It just does a line. Who wants this? Now he can finally be creating a light show and still engaging with everyone at the party. I can't even point at the camera or else it'll break the camera. Now I did order these glasses um, from somewhere in China. This seems kind of more hazardous than anything. This is helping him in so many ways, but mostly he will just be giddy with laughter. I don't understand it. You can't wear this anywhere because I'd be blinding people. And this in tandem with his fog machine will make him look like, like a cyborg. Oh my God, ow. <laughs> it fucking burns. Zach will be beaming with delight when he gets these beams. And I'm gonna be the best gift giver ever after this video. This video is going to fix me. It's not the best gift I've ever received, Keith. I think you got, you got to try harder. So, it's gonna be sick. <laughs> Keith has had a real hard on for surprising me when I'm not ready for it. So, I decided that part of this gift should be finding him when he's least expecting it. So I'm here at Keith's dentist and we're gonna give him a gift that he'll never forget. All right, let's go. So we've been here for 10 minutes. Um, they haven't started cleaning yet because Keith is talking a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, uh, run on our channel all the time, guys. I mean, I don't do a lot of things. He's talking about that he can live here. Who gives a f? Let your dentist clean your teeth and leave. I was wondering why it was a three hour dentist appointment on the calendar. Maybe a gift that he should give the world is shut up. Mr. Habersberger? Hi! Hey, oh my Hi! God. How are you? Are you giving me a gift right now? I well, I just, you know, you've been working so hard and I feel like you deserve a gift. What are you thinking? <laughs> are you fing <laughs> kidding right now? I am a dentist. I just started getting my teeth cleaned. It's everyone's favorite place. I just, you know, thought that it was a nice <sighs> thing to get a gift while you were here. This. Yeah, I don't know. You've been working so hard. I have been working hard. And I wanted my teeth to be nice and clean. And for your second gift, I just thought I'd, you know, add a little element of surprise. Well, Sorry to interrupt. It'll be just a second. Okay. Well, let's let's see what you got me. Let's see if it's a good gift. How are his teeth looking, by the way? So far, so good. Okay. No cavities. That's great. You know. That's. I mean, that's a gift in and of itself. I could take this back, maybe. Oh no, no, I'll open, I'll open it. Keith, right now is in the process of putting on a Broadway show off Broadway, but still really impressive. <laughs> The shade. <laughs> what is this? How do I even open this? And so I thought, what better gift than to give him an instrument that both supports his love of music and helps him on this journey of making this show. Oh, <laughs> hell yeah. Oh, sick. This is one of the good things that go sound like, how does this one work? <laughs> Oh, yeah. The vibraslap is a modern instrument based on a classical instrument that used to be made out of jawbones. Hold on, this hand? This, oh, yeah. You know? <laughs> 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 
Why do you know this? <laughs> You're a cool ass dentist. Drum accessory for when you play drums and have associates pound it. Two months ago, I was at a wedding and there was a delightful man named Bongo D. Bongo D brought out a bunch of goofy instruments for me and my friends. I played with this goofy instrument and I thought immediately of my best bud, Keith. They used to make it with donkey's teeth. You know, I was gonna say it sounds like a- Teeth a rattling. Skeleton thing. I mean, this is a good gift. It's not as good as a gift that I gave you, but it's like a good gift. I think you did a good job. I do think you should feel proud, Zach. I think you should feel proud. What the f is this? I'm really happy. I think you should feel proud. What the f is this? I'm so, I'm so proud of you. Cause like, definitely I thought you were really gonna blow it this video. And you've done pretty well so far. Okay, well, uh, enjoy the rest of your cleaning. Thanks. And enjoy your musical instrument that I thought of just for you. Thanks. <laughs> it's fun. How do you know where my dentist was? <laughs> I didn't put this on the calendar. I thought that I was at the dentist, not the address. Can I just put a present in the bowl with a lot of popcorn around it, not hidden in it? Yeah. I'm not sure why I don't give the people that I love gifts. It's funny because you're so thoughtful in so many areas of life. You think about others a lot. But mm -hmm. This is one area that you have blocked out. <clears throat> I feel kind of bad about myself right now. <laughs> We're about to surprise Zach with the third gift. Um, we wanted to cover the whole thing in lots of popcorn, but the microwave broke. So we're only halfway there, but you know, I think it's pretty good. <laughs> it's really not as much popcorn as I imagined. <laughs> gift number three. Now this taps a little bit back into gift number one. Again, it's something Zach borrows from me all the time. Okay, so we're gonna go in and surprise him right now. While he's this in the podcast. This is my level three gift. All right, let's go. Okay. And just the crowd parts and whoosh. Right there. Well, he and the real went, yeah. oh! Yeah, he hears he the, red he eyes. Hears the whistle. He has, red eyes. He has red eyes. His red eyes glare every yeah. time he fucking... Yeah. Oh, f hello. God damn it. What's oh, who's the lucky God boy? God damn it. I'm in the middle of a podcast. He loves his <laughs> gifts. He deserves the world. <sighs> and he's here doing his wonderful podcast, Guilty Pleasure. This is such a scary knock, too. I'd, <laughs> I'd bring him. such a scary character. I thought I'd just bring him a big bowl of popcorn. Oh, my God. It's oh, what's a big that? Bowl of popcorn. Oh, there's something yeah. else in the popcorn. We're doing a little yeah, gift exchange it. video, and I'm surprising Zach. Did you butter the popcorn? Is it hot? It came buttered. There's only one gift left. Yeah. This is my high tier price gift for you. I think you're gonna love it. <laughs> I bet I won't. Jack, can you take this bullshit popcorn out of here? Let us know how it is. Frickin' buttered popcorn. The microwave did stop before we could make enough. I was trying to cover the whole gift in popcorn. Oh, hell yeah. This is a really, this is like a really nice projector. So Zach has always been talking about how he wants to get into projection mapping. And to do this, he needs a really good projector. He loves movies. He loves the cinematic experience. He has a little backyard that'd be perfect for this. So uh, he always borrows my projector. And I decided I'll give him actually the model that I have because it's really great. Phone? <laughs> Harmon and Cardin? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. This is, is this the one you have? Wow. Yeah. So he got him, you, you got him a gift you have. Well, cause I borrow this from Keith a lot. Uh, <laughs> and so well, I think this is less of a gift and more of Keith saying, stop, yeah, stop hanging borrowing it. Yeah. Well, it's a gift that you'll never buy yourself because you're just gonna borrow mine. <laughs> yeah. So I thought I would give it to you so you would never feel oh burdened. And it's okay to spend this much money because I have never given you a birthday gift. <laughs> you did a really good job, Keith. <laughs> Can we get back to podcasting? Yeah, you're going down, bitch. No way, you're f***ing losing. You're such a f***ing loser. All right, I'll see you later. Enjoy your chump show. Okay, I just got a text from Zach that said to go to my garage. For my third gift, I'm going to send Keith on a psychedelic adventure. This must be 
must be a gift. So let's see how well he did. <laughs> uh, I went on Google and typed good gifts for people who like trucks. I found a lot of cool stuff. There it is. It's just a, a gift. I assume Becky was his accomplice. Oh God, it's full of packing peanuts. Okay, I don't want these peanuts to go everywhere. Oh geez. It's like a gift, but also a curse. I'm gonna gift Keith so hard that he creams his shorts. Jesus Christ. What is it? I honestly, I saw this online and I've never seen anything like it. It's something that I can imagine Keith and his brother Brian really just being mystified by. What is it? This thing is special. You have to sign up and get a special code to even access the website. They are made to order. I'm really excited to see it in person. What is it? Is it a... Oh my God. Whoa. It is a wild kaleidoscope. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. This thing's nuts. This thing's crazy. A Novascope is like a kaleidoscope for adults. Oh my God. This is like the fanciest kaleidoscope ever. Wow. Like this is like an artisan made this just for him to wonder. It looks like just art that would maybe be in your parents' house. This is a gift that he's going to like now and really love next time we're getting boogie. Pretty good, Zach. Pretty good, I gotta tell you. Is it as good as the projector I got you? Hell no. But it's a good gift, and I never would have bought this for myself, but I will love playing with this. I mean, look at that. Wow, that's nuts. For the fourth and final gift, I'm going to change Keith's life. We're here on behalf of Cornfield Associates. We're gonna need you to put these on, please. Who let you in to my home? <laughs> the fourth gift, the most amazing gift, takes elements of all the other gifts. Uh, I've been told that I'm getting surprised today. I've been told to come to this location. I wasn't allowed to know the location. Maggie drove me. She doesn't know what's going on. Yeah, what do you think is going on right now? Well, I know we're headed west. It is a little hard to breathe in the bag. It's really going to be overwhelming. I'm so excited. It's crazy. Uh, uh, Rachel and I have been talking about it for weeks. Perhaps like a dance party? But it would have to be a pretty damn good dance party. The best thing he could give me, but it wouldn't make sense if we've eaten already, mm -hmm. would be to get pizza with Tim Meadows. Whoa. Who's Tim Meadows? And I can't even say I'm excited. I, I'm anxious. My tummy hurts. Your tummy and hurts? I'm feeling kind of homesick. Really too much pressure, and I am nervous. You love surprises. How you doing, Keith? <laughs> I can't. I feel more confident taking a little step. Okay. This is truly bringing everything that Keith knows and loves into one package. Are we ready? I'm ready. I can't see, you know. Oh, because you have no glasses. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I can't see. I forgot. <laughs> we didn't need the blindfold. <laughs> okay, I need I to give you my tea then. Here. Okay, I'll I, hold I it. I can't. I'll oh. hold it. Together. Together? This is like a surprise for you too. No, this is your surprise. Okay. I'm just here. Okay, I'm gonna take you right through this room. Okay. And I'll this one it's too, hot sir. in here. This is going to be the high of Keith's life and everything else will be a disappointment. Put on, put me on. Wow, you even got my brand of undershirt. I'm gonna do way better than Zach. I'm gonna pummel him into the ground. He's nowhere near as thoughtful as I am. Just because I haven't been good at giving gifts before, it doesn't mean I haven't been the more thoughtful of the two. <gasps> if this is a, wait, what did you do? Look, look. <laughs> How? <laughs> What's happening? What? <laughs> It is truly the greatest gift I'll ever have given anyone. What could this be? What a candid competition, the movie. Zach Kornfeld in candid competition. I am going to make his dreams come true. Dreams he doesn't even know he has. Okay. Uh, 
Oh, yeah. so much. Uh, I worked very hard on this film. I'm uh, so excited for you all to see it. My god. Okay. <laughs> what are we doing? I'm going to make Zach's dreams come true so that I can beat him like the loser he is. Okay, we're backstage, guys. And why don't you come right here? This is a gift so good that Keith will never be able to recover from it. Okay, you can open your eyes. Keith, what do you hope might happen right now? I mean, I, I don't know what I hope. I, I hope there's um, something cool. <laughs> I, I mean, I know that it's a gift from Zach. I definitely thought the ending of this video would be smaller. <laughs> hey, team, are you ready? Three, two, one. From sunny Hollywood, California. <laughs> it's Brian Wolf. It's Keith Tonight. Keith Tonight. Featuring Lou Berger. Lou Berger's here. And a special surprise guest that's even more surprising than this show. And now, here he is. Welcome to Keith Tonight. I'm Keith Aversberger. We are throwing Keith his very own late night talk show. This whole thing is a gift from one of my best friends, Zach Kornfeld, and I'm reading all of this monologue off of a prompter. It is going to be a candid competition mini movie. It feels like this is my life's work. I'm renting out a theater. We're going to have an auteur's Q&A. Zach will get to feel like the star director he knows he is. Welcome to Candid Competition, the movie, the premiere. He is going to walk through that curtain and be surprised by a live studio audience of over 100 Keith fans. Let's go Keith! Let's go Keith! Let's go, Keith. Wow! Let's go Keith! And he's going to be thrust into a spontaneous late night talk show. I can't imagine how much this costs. This gift is actually so expensive that we're gonna make it its own video. So please come back and watch that one and give it a lot of views because I spent all our money on this. Say, well, we better fucking go. Better f***ing prove that it, this is a dream I should want. This makes me want to watch more of our stuff with big crowds. Yeah. It's cool. You know, the greatest gifts aren't about price. It's about the friendship and the meaning and the intention. But we're not doing that. We're spending $40,000 on a late night talk show. We're spending way more than that. No, f***. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise, Keith. Please eat more menus to help pay for this. <laughs> It is a little hard to breathe in the bag. <laughs> in the bag. Well, you can always put your mouth Sometimes out. Sometimes I have food. put my mouth out a couple times to get some good air. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we just passed. We just passed a cough on the side of the road.